So from a legal perspective, I'm going to give you a little bit of background of what actually bankruptcy is. I think a lot of people feel like bankruptcy is a get free out of jail card, get free out of debt, I guess not jail out of debt. And it is exactly that. However, um, there goes a lot of people with a lot of power. Uh, we're going to look at a list of creditors. Some of them should scare you if you were MetaZoo that you owe these people money. It's no different than owning the mafia money. It's no different than owing a organized crime money, except these are corporations, right? Evil corporations. We're always talking about the evil corporations, right? Well, let's take a look at the creditors, the official creditors, legal document. There will be more, but let's take a look at who they are and why, why this would be such a problem for MetaZoo should it arise out of bankruptcy. Baya Board Games Co. Ltd. That is the people who print the card game. Again, this is probably very bad that you owe your printer money that you have not paid them. Uh, therefore, a lot of printers probably moving forward, right? They're well connected. It's a very small amount of them uh, will ask for money up front, which is what you guys as MetaZoo players should have been doing all along instead of pre-ordering. Caldeo.io, I believe this is a app developer for the MetaZoo online platform. Again, why was MetaZoo spending money on an online platform when it couldn't even pay the printing? So out of all these people, like you would think the printing company would be paid, but hey, we got to spend money on a platform, Chase Bank. <laughs> oh man, uh, Chase Bank will get its blood. And what's happening right now is you might be like, oh, will the players get paid back? No. Will the collectors who pre-ordered the native streamer kit? No. We're alpha. No. no, none of these people are getting paid until Chase Bank gets paid. And the reason that often these larger organizations get paid first is because they have lawyers. Lawyers, right? Each of these creditors, they have lawyers and they're going to sue MetaZoo or they're going to pursue MetaZoo in the bankruptcy hearing, and they're going to get in line because they have a lawyer that puts them in line, and they're going to be paid. First of all, who gets paid first? It will be the lawyers. MetaZoo's lawyers will get paid first, then the lawyers of Chase Bank and so on. There's no worry for them that they will get paid. They will get paid. I would even imagine Chase Bank's own lawyers are probably in-house for this type of deal because it's probably very common. Marvel Entertainment. So you might be like, oh, they did do a Marvel collab. No, this is just San Diego Comic-Con. This is the con conventions, New York Comic-Con. It still is surprising to me how much money, and we are going to find out to the dollar exactly how much money MetaZoo was spending at these collector cons and so on. I would probably imagine they're not profitable. Um, that's what my guess would be, that the organization from head to toe was a money sink and they were just doing exactly what a ponzi scheme or pyramid scheme does they were pushing the debt further along not so different than the uh houston tcg what was it collect not collect con tcg con right which is now also probably going to file for bank we'll, we'll take a look at that san rio so this was the last promotion they did with hello kitty the fact that they for whatever reason, could not pay Sanrio for the, li I assume it's a licensing fee. Um, yeah, uh, Sanrio is going to get their money as they are one of the largest IPs in the world, right? I think they're like one or two. Shopify, huge website platform. Obviously, I assume that MetaZoo, never been to their official website, but I assume that it's on Shopify. Uh, SSL Freight Forwarders, um, this is the sh distribution or shipping, I assume. And what's new is a they print t-shirts, hoodies. I assume this is where the five pallets of skateboards came from. <laughs> five pallets of skateboards. Imagine like you are not related to skateboards at all, but you're like, why, why should card game, are they skateboarding to their local MetaZoo Friday night magic? Like, what, why? <laughs> like, why? I don't understand the relationship between a card game and skateboard. Is the average demographic of MetaZoo investors skateboarding? I understand the Pokemon had those limited release skateboards that often resell for a lot of money. 
And they look kind of cool. I mean, I would probably pick one up at retail. I'm not going to pay secondary inflated prices for it. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, why does, like, why? Hey, you know what? I actually figured it out. The reason they have skateboards is because they looked at Pokemon at the time, right? When Pokemon came out with its uh, skateboards at the time. And they were like, hey, man, we got to make skateboards too. I mean, <laughs> if you want any indication that this is, they basically just copied Pokemon, look at the skateboards. Because kind of skateboards don't make sense for Pokemon, but they have so much other stuff, right? But why the hell would a card game player need a skateboard? I, I'm just baffled. Oh, oh, there. No, no offense, Nick Strength from Pokemon. He's got the skateboards in the bag of his uh, studio, so clearly he wanted to have skateboards. But, but why? So, and anyway, back to the uh, the law stuff. Uh, shout out to Nick Strength and Pokemon. This is a brutality. This is gonna be, you know, like you know, like when you look at like these companies, and I know like who represents them. I know the lawyers. Um, you're gonna get effed in the butt, man. These guys are not messing around. You think Chase Bank is messing around? They're going to get every last dime. And, and the customer, the consumer, they might get like a tuna can. Of, they, they might get a can of tuna. That's it. <laughs> that might be it. Um, I'm shocked no one has filed class action against MetaZoo. Because if you don't file and you don't... So first of all, there is no class action to join. But it's kind of like the canned tuna scenario. But most of the money goes to the lawyer anyway. So, like, you get, like, one can tuna for the tuna company deceiving you for over 10 years. Great. Congratulations. Um, so, Cardio, Chase Bank, Marvel, Marvel, holy moly, that's a Disney property, guys. <laughs> you know how greedy Disney is, man. And, and Sam Rio, ugh. You know, like, imagine you're a bankrupt. So, forget, forget just the legal stuff. Imagine your reputation getting blacklisted by Marvel. You're never going to be invited to no more conventions, my dude. You can't pay. You know what? Actually, Collecticon's not here. Are you telling me these homies paid Collecticon but didn't pay Marvel? Wow. Like, very short-sighted. But that would be something that I imagine. Maybe Collecticon comes later, but Marvel does a lot of the conventions. I'm assuming that's what they owe Marvel. Sam Rio, obviously the Hello Kitty disaster that tanked. That was their last gasp, right, was Hello Kitty. Um, again, not a company I would mess around with. These are companies that can... When you owe people money, be it your customers, be it your player base, be it these vendors, these creditors, you're stealing from them, in my opinion. And they're going to remember... So the next time somebody, not just San Rio, next time you approach someone with a, a deal, they're going to Google your name, and the first thing that comes up is bankruptcy. MetaZoo to the moon, baby.